What is up guys, it's DJ Martini Midwest coming with a new video for my channel guys. Today I have an X rocker, uh, kind of a zinger on my channel. I usually don't do gaming chairs or that kind of thing, but like I said, I'll review whatever I got when I got it. And if it's a good little product, I'd like to bring it to you. So guys, thanks for tuning in. It's DJ Martini Midwest, DJ Martini Services on Facebook and DJMartiniMidwest.com. Check them all out guys. And if you guys like review videos, you like an honest review about a product from an average consumer, uh, just trying to bring you guys a little information, trying to help answer some questions maybe on the item and, and bring you a little background. Um, tune in to DJ Martini Midwest, guys. That's what I do. I do review videos. If you guys like that kind of stuff, please like, subscribe, and share. And catch me on some extra more videos and check out some of my older videos. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, I appreciate all my people liking and subscribing. You guys are all awesome. Uh, out there guys really positive and a lot of excellent feedback. So thank you guys so much for tuning in guys Let's get into this chair that I got. This is the X rocker or it's on the website. It's like a V rocker uh, Casual Bayou um, That pretty sure that's what this chair is uh, The first thing I want to bring is on the website. I wanted to show you guys some things I actually purchased this and I thought it was about hundred and thirty nine dollars And it shows you this picture right here guys you see it's completely different it almost shows like a leather and it's got arms so it's a completely different chair but if you go down on that same ad um, you go down to the manufacturer information you can see that that's this chair right here that I have behind me so uh, a little confusing there guys uh, so luckily I bought it on a warehouse deal so it was right around $90 uh, which was pretty good um, but if you actually go to um, back here, this is the Ace Casual gaming chair. Um, I don't know if it's a copy of the V Rocker because this is a X Rocker, um, which is you know a company that makes these gaming chairs a lot. Uh, but this one is called the Ace Casual, and if you go down actually to the more information. It shows it's a uh, you know a gaming chair and it says X rocker V rocker se black so you can see that that chair and this one's $89 so you can see there's a big price difference there and also if you ordered from the other one and you end up with this chair you'd be a little disappointed uh, like I was at first but then I really didn't want to return it, it was a warehouse deal it didn't come in the original box um, but I actually do like some things about this chair so I'm actually going to keep this chair I don't want to return it uh, and that's why I kind of wanted to bring it to you I, so I wasn't I didn't get the chair that I ordered but I ended up liking this chair so we're gonna go ahead and talk about it and like I said this is a gaming chair it is an X rocker it's but it says both you know it says X rocker V rocker SE uh, casual gaming chair it is 2.1 it does have two speakers in in the uh, headrest up here and then a subwoofer in the bottom which is kind of cool never had anything like that like I said haven't had a gaming chair before so I wanted to talk about some stuff about this chair show you some of the accessories I got with it and you know give you a little bit of positives and negatives on it very very quickly hopefully won't make it too long and like I said this is not my forte but I mean, I'm just an average consumer and I know a little bit about electronics. So, you know, no problem bringing you guys a little information on this. So let me just show you, you'll get this chair guys. It did come, uh, like I said, it was a warehouse deal. So it did come in a different box. I didn't get the original box and, but luckily everything came with it. So that was good. So I got a little bit of a bag. Like I said, I got it for $90. I'll leave the link. Uh, it's 89, I think on one link and then it's 139 on another link. So you guys decide uh, if you want the black and silver you're probably gonna have to pay a little more unless you get it on a warehouse deal and then the 89 was for the blue one so just depending on what you guys want so you did get some accessories here so this is a uh, RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack right here stereo and it comes with these little adapters too so if you need to uh, have these adapters it comes with those so that was kind of cool comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack stereo uh, cable it's probably a you know a five foot cable it came with the wireless accessory here so this is the wireless box right here which I've heard positives and negatives on these guys uh, that they work and they don't work 
So far, mine's work okay, so we're gonna get into that. And then you get the little uh, small 3.5 millimeter jack, so both sides stereo, uh, which is good to hook to your device. Uh, if you have uh, Apple or iPhone, of course, you're gonna have to have a little adapter for that if you wanna hook that up to uh, an Apple device. And then it came with uh, some screws. I don't know why it came with some screws. Uh, luckily, I did not need, need those. Um, and then it came with the power adapter, which I do have plugged in here. I'll show you guys that real quick. So it came with the power adapter, which is awesome. So it had everything I needed. And I will take you guys up close to take a look at it here in a second. But I just wanted to go over the chair itself. Uh, it does have like a fabric material here and then like a semi uh, faux leather in the middle, which is nice. Uh, like, uh, like I said, the faux leather on the sides. Actually, the build quality is not too bad. Uh, and like I said, it's going to have two speakers in the headrest up here which is really cool. And then one subwoofer on the bottom that I'll show you in a second. Okay, so those are all the accessories, guys. I have it kind of propped up on a box so you can see it, but I'll take you in close here and we'll switch views and I'll take you in close to the chair and show you a couple things. All right, guys, so we switch views. You can kind of see the chair here. Uh, like a faux leather type material, like I said. Here's the... Uh, the board it does say x rocker like i said you got your plug-in for your power right here this is an on and off switch that you push in uh, you have your a headphone jack your input and uh, output so that's kind of cool you can output to you have a volume knob here you have a bass knob you turn that all the way up and then you have a band here which is for your three channels of band for your wireless uh, adapter here. Here's the wireless adapter. And you can also plug this in if you have an adapter, but it doesn't come with that, so I used the batteries. Uh, it does take two AAA batteries. And there's the three bands, so you just have to match that band with this band. So if you're on band one, you wanna be on band one on your chair. And you're going to turn this device on and when it's on there will be a little green light unless it it'll automatically power down actually but you see right here there's the green light it'll power down if it's not in use which is kind of cool and um, then you just take this part and you plug it into whatever device you want to connect this to so it is kind of wireless so that's kind of cool uh, I want to show you one more thing here. Uh, on the back here, there's some velcro. Pretty strong. And then the chair, the chair will fold down like that. So it can easily be stored. On the back side, you do have just a vinyl material there. Like I said, but here's your velcro. And it does work pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and flip the chair over here. Is pretty sturdy and then on the bottom you have a little subwoofer right here um, little, like I said, your vinyl material a little port here um, but not bad on the quality here so far I'm gonna put that back over all right sorry about that hard to do with one hand um, yeah, and just make sure that you put that Velcro on or this will like just tip on you. So, but that Velcro is pretty strong. So, other than that, guys, I'm going to go back to the other cam. We're going to give you the final thoughts, my positives, negatives. I'm going to sit in the chair. I'm also going to give you guys a quick sound test of everything and show you guys what's going on. Uh, give you a little bit more information and then have you guys on your way. Let's get all that done and wrap it up in this video. All right. So, to get this chair operational, you can either plug in your device straight into the chair in the input, or you can use this wireless device. We're going to use this wireless device just to show you guys that it does work. Uh, it does work on a frequency band, so you're going to have three bands, one, channel one, two, or three, 
you need to pick one of those, whichever one. Uh, you're going to have to play around with that a little bit. I use band one. It's worked the best for me. Uh, if you're not listening to music, you might hear a little bleep or a little uh, distortion um, from that band. But if you're listening to music, then I haven't had any issues with that. So uh, channel ones work for me. And I have heard people say that sometimes they've had some interference and those types of things. It doesn't work very good. But so far, mine has worked pretty decently. So, uh, And normally when I play, though, I will plug it in straight into the controller into the chair just works pretty good for me. So those are some options for you to get the chair done. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Um, we'll leave it off for a second. And then the next thing I wanna show you guys is I'm six foot tall and show you how I look in the chair. Now, like I said, probably one of the negatives of this chair is I think it just feels a little bit small. I wish it was maybe a little taller on the backside, uh, on just a little bit taller and it would probably work a lot better for me. But since I'm six foot, I just feel like I'm a little tall for the chair. Um, so it makes it a little uncomfortable to stay in it a long time. So I would say over two hours, if I'm in the chair over two hours, then you know I'm moving around a lot and then I'm starting to get uncomfortable. So uh, let me get in the chair and show you guys what it looks like. <sighs> like I said, I'm six foot tall and this is probably how I sit in the chair most comfortably. Uh, right here and I can go ahead and game and I'm all right to go uh, But like you said the way I'm sitting there's really no back support right here where it should be I think really you should be about right here to be in the normal position But for me this one I don't feel balanced at all and two there's definitely no head support at all or shoulders feel a little but this is probably where you should be at um, and then there's a little back support there. I can actually see you can actually I can't even get my hand in there So there's a little back support there. So that's good uh, But like I said, I just don't feel real comfortable sitting like this um, That's why I think the chair is a little small uh, So I will actually physically scoot down just a little bit and I'm actually really comfortable like right here now There's still no head support, but my shoulders are planted into the chair. So I can actually comfortably play for a little bit. Now, like I said, right here, I can actually slide my hand in there really easy and there's not really any back support. Um, you could, you know, put a little pillow in there, probably get longer uh, use out of it, but you know, I'm, I'm actually pretty comfortable right here. Uh, like here, just scooting down a little bit. But like I said, I think the chair's just a little too small for me. All right, we'll go ahead and get off of it. I do like where the speakers are posi pos positioned. I, like I said, I am going to probably get something a little bit different, another gaming chair and pass this on to the family. Um, but this is supposed to be for, you know, everyone, an adult, you know, uh, should be able to fit in this chair as well. So, all right guys. So I think that's one of the negatives guys is I just think the chair is a little short. If you're a little taller, I'm six foot. So I think if you'd be in the five, nine, five, 10 range, it might be a little bit more comfortable. Cause I, that's probably about what I'm scooting down is probably in three inches or so. And that's where I feel the most comfortable. So if you're shorter, this chair is going to work fine. If you're a little taller, you might want to look for something else. I do like on this chair that the speakers are literally in the chair in the front and they're not on the sides. So I do like that part of it. That's another reason why I kind of like the chair and that subwoofer. Definitely. You can feel it, feel vibrations, especially when you're watching movies and videos, playing games. It's pretty cool. So uh, I do like that part of the chair. I'm going to go ahead and flick it on and show you a quick sound test. Uh, I'll point the chair here at me at the mic here, uh, put some headphones on. It might help a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire this up. Turn on your wireless and turn it up full full blast
All right, guys, so that's just a little sound test, real quick, something easy uh, to show you guys. Um, my device is not turned all the way up, but the chair is turned all the way up, so uh, that's probably louder than you would ever listen to it when you're sitting in the chair because those speakers are right next to your ear. Uh, but you definitely could feel the bass. Me just sitting by the chair, I could feel the bass, which is kind of cool. And then hearing everything sounds pretty good. Every The sound quality is pretty acceptable. Uh, if you want me to get real particular about uh, the sound, uh, you're definitely uh, focusing on the bass. So it is a little bassful, nice warm sound. The uh, highs and mids are a little bit uh, muted in my opinion. They're not as high and crisp they as they could be, uh, but very, very, very acceptable. So uh, especially, like I said, when you're sitting in the chair and you're right next to the speakers, it's uh, sounds really, really good actually. So everything's good to go there. So sound quality wise, you know, definitely uh, I think it sounds pretty good for a gaming chair. Uh, other than that, the quality of the materials, the softness, I mean, it's not the, I thought it'd be a little bit more plush. It's not the softest thing in the world, um, but definitely, like I said, very comfortable for me for an hour or two uh, for a casual gamer. No problem whatsoever. Uh, materials made pretty good. This is nice faux leather, faux leather in the middle. Fabric material here, like I said. Uh, the softness is not the most softest thing in the world, so, you know, that could be a negative. Uh, and then, like I said, the height of the chair, not very good for tall people, in my opinion. So those are probably the big two negatives. It's not the plushest chair, and it's not very tall for tall people. So other than that, positives, sound quality is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm actually, I was impressed when I sat in it, felt it, uh, felt the vibration from the bass. Pretty cool there. Uh, the wireless works decently. Uh, like I said, there uh, it's on right now. I haven't heard any crackles and pops, but if you have some kind of frequency uh, disturbance, you might hear some of that frequency issues. You might have to just choose a different band to go with there. I do like the accessories it comes with. That's a positive. Uh, I do like that it folds down and you can slide it under a table or something later, uh, get it out of the way, that type of thing. So that's pretty cool as well. Velcro is nice on the back. It holds. It's not coming out. It's not going anywhere. Um, and uh, everything down here is very easy to operate. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, hooking it up and everything. So really easy chair to negotiate. So I do like all that about it. At the price point of $90, this is probably where you can get this chair. Um, I think that's a value. I think it's a pretty good uh, chair. Uh, even around $100, I'd still say it's a pretty good chair. Uh, so. I'm very impressed with it guys. That's why I want to bring it to you let you guys know what's going on If you guys are interested in I'll leave the links in my description uh, Please like subscribe my channel guys if you like review videos I will be reviewing another chair but like I said, I'm a little taller So I probably want to get something a little bit different for me. I'll pass this on down and uh, We'll go ahead and get a different chair for me see if it might help if it's a little bit bigger So we'll check it out guys that video will be coming soon as soon as I uh, pick out a chair guys and um, I think that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been the X Rocker. It's also called the V Rocker SE uh, Bayou or Ace Casual Gaming Chair. Uh, it has a couple names in there. Uh, but this is the 2.1 gaming chair. It does have wireless, so you can hook it to your device. You can wire it straight in. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of coolness there. Pretty good volume. And, you know, pretty solid chair, guys. I do. I do enjoy it. So thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys liked the video. DJ Martini West. We'll talk to you guys later.